numbers of Christmas and the science of Christmas, Dr. Carl. Give me something Christmassy. Well, the thing about Christmas is, of course, Santa. Yes. Now, Santa has to visit a lot of kids. Mm. Mate, you do the... All the ones who've been good. Yes. Well, and, and in my experience, even some who've behaved pretty average end they, up end up getting a gift. Yeah, that's right. I, I think they should get a gift. He sets the bar very low, Santa, yeah, for good and, behaviour. Yeah. For and, mine. And the thing is, there are so many kids... That if you work out the mathematics of it, mm-hmm. it turns out that he has to visit a thousand children per second mm-hmm. and travel at a speed from one child to the next at a thousand kilometres a second. Thousand kilometres a second? Not just a thousand kilometres an hour, mm-hmm. which is your jetty type speed, mm-hmm. but 3,600 times faster. Now, I remember once in the old days when you could sit in the front of an aeroplane with the captain and co pilot yes. that they, was, they, they read out the air temperature, and I said, well, hang on. You said the skin temperature is different, and the air temperature outside was minus 40. The skin temperature, I think, was minus 3. I said, how come it's so much hotter? And they said, because we're pushing through the air. There's a pressure effect. Uh-huh. So in the same way, you know, when you pump up a bicycle with yes. a pump, yep. you know, when you compress the air, it gets hotter. Yep. Well, that's what's happening. You're compressing the air in front of the plane. The heated air gives some of its heat to the plane, so it heats up. Well, So if Santa is travelling at 1,000 kilometres a Second, that he's experiencing a fair degree of heat? Beyond fair. Absolutely enormous. Way beyond hydrogen bomb type energies. Okay. Enough to vaporise Santa, unless for the fact that he is protected by the magic of Santa. Yes, yes. Hence is real. Okay, great stuff. And 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 the the the, the, the G forces. Because he's got he's got to get up to a thousand kilometers a second. He's got to get up to that speed, then he's got to also slow down mm. to zero for a, a, some instantaneous amount of time while in, he deposits. Yeah, in half, a th- in half a thousandth of a second, he has to get up to full speed, and then in another half a thousandth of a second, he has to slow down. Well, so would, would he, as, as the elite pilot, say, be, quote, pulling a few Gs, end quote? Uh, I think the, the phrase that they use is turning into, quote, chunky red salsa. <laughs> <laughs> what, so what up, just quickly, as a tangent... G-forces? Yeah. What are G-forces? What does it mean to experience Gs? Um, That means that you would experience the same uh, feeling as if you lived on a planet where the mass was higher and therefore you would be pulled by gravity. So uh, you, when you're experiencing two Gs, you'd, your effective weight for the mythical 70-kilogram human, would your weight would be 140. And so if someone, for example, at a fairground goes on a ride where you go along and swing around a corner quickly, you do mm. feel that sort of pressure on you, don't you? Is yeah, that, that's the equivalent the of feeling Gs? Uh, but they're, they're the kiddie Gs. You and I had the full-grade industrial-grade Gs when we went flying with the roulettes. Yes. And I remember getting up to four Gs and thinking, this is serious because suddenly the mythical 70-kilogram body is 280 kilograms and you're having to breathe in. And I remember feeling on my legs the G suit compressing on my legs, forcing the blood up into my heart yeah, so s- that I wouldn't pass out. So the flying suit you see, your Top Gun mm. types wearing as they go to like you and me get into the plane that 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 was was that was squeezing on us yes it was uh, fed with compressed air and it was squeezing the firstly the lower limbs the lower leg the middle leg the upper leg and pushing the blood up into the chest cavity where it was then pushing squeezing around our tummy to push it into the heart because otherwise the, the blood would pull in our lower limbs and we would sort of go full color graying out Black and white, unconscious. So because you're travelling at... Because you're experiencing G-force, it's Mm. harder for your body to pump blood to and from the extremities. Depending on which way the G-forces are going, normally... um, They're pushing the blood down to your feet, and that's a blackout. If they shove it the other way, that's a red out, and then you can have blood vessels in your brain bursting. If you've got a choice between going unconscious and having a stroke, generally go for the unconscious, but then you're left with a minor problem. If I'm unconscious, comma, who's flying the plane? Question mark. <laughs> Hence the need for the G suit. You with Dr. Cullen and Adam Spencer on the Our Sleep Geeks. We're talking Christmas. We've diverted quickly into G's. I want to stay there for a second. Because mm. pilots' ability, people who want to be elite pilots, their ability to handle certain G forces. I remember seeing a video of people who were about to be exposed to tremendous G forces to see how they 
handled it and you'd watch them black out. And I remember watching one of the guys, a particularly driven physical young man, getting himself in the zone going, come on, come on, here we go. And just blacked out anyway. So no amount of trying to be tough can stop you if your body just can't handle the Gs. A little bit can, if you've got a very thick neck, if you've got very good muscular tone in your legs and your abdomen, and then you can do the so-called Valsalva manoeuvre. Mm. I shall demonstrate by putting my fingers upon my nose mm-hmm. and then going and then pushing against my closed mouth with all of my air. And then my face begins to go red. Yeah. And so what I'm doing is increasing my intra-abdominal pressure. I'm helping to raise the blood up into my head. So any little bit helps. So, yes, the more physically trained you are, you get an extra half G, three quarters of a G. I don't know what it is. It gives you an over, a, a bit of a margin over the untrained person who hasn't got those extra muscles. But Gs will get win in the end. Do we know about peanut allergies and why people have them or what is actually happening at the time of one of these reactions.